Hi, I'm Dory. Well, I probably should tell you, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Unless I've already told you that. Hmm. Wow, I am so glad you're here, because if I got a story for you... Wait, do I have a story for you? Yes, yes I do. It's a story about me and my friends. Oh, and my family. Are you ready? Woohoo, let's go! Oh, well, hang on. What's that big thing with the wiggly parts? Right, oh, and what's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go! It all started one morning when I was on my way to meet Mr. Ray in his class. bumped right into a huge jack-o'-lantern. Phew, that was a close one. Watch where you're going. Ah! I knew I was almost there when I saw Nemo playing with somebody new. A friendly kitten. <laughs> and then I found Mr. Ray, just in time for class. around because Mr. Ray needed help. All his students had disappeared. What? When did this happen? Oh, hi Marlin. This is Marlin. He's my friend. And he looks like, well, I mean, you can see him right here. Dory, when did the whole class disappear? Well, well listen, I'm telling you. A a and you. Wait, I forget. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits? the one? And while we're at it, what do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? No. Hmm. Where was I? Oh, right. Anyway, since I was the teacher's assistant that day, I told Mr. Ray I'd find all six of his missing students. Oh, Dory, come on now. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Come on now, let's find those kids. Oh. Hi, you. with a bouncy jack in the pie. You? Oh, oh hello. Ah! Ow. Oop. 
Oops, sorry. around because Mr. Ray needed help. All his students had disappeared. What? When did this happen? Oh, hi Marlin. This is Marlin. He's my friend. And he looks like, well, I mean, you can see him right here. Dory, when did the whole class disappear? Well, well listen, I'm telling you. A a and you. Oh, uh, hang on. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits. the one and while we're at it what do you call that noisy thingamajobber i'm thinking it's a little squishy great those will come up soon okay here we go anyway since i was the teacher's assistant that day i told mr ray i'd find all six of his missing students oh dory come on now yes that's exactly what i said come on now let's find those kids oh Hi, you? <laughs> Pearl was playing with a bouncy old boot. Hi, you? Oh, uh, hello. last and saved him from a dangerous exploding Dory! giraffe Dory 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 that did not happen I would have heard about it what's important is that I was a great teacher's assistant right right but you said right
So that day was the day of the great stingray migration. Mr. Ray took the whole class to the edge of the reef to see it. Field trip! Hmm, one sec. Maybe you know this. What's the thing with the lumps? It makes that noise, you know. Really? Okay, one more thing. What do you call the thingamajig? You know, it's round, it kind of tickles. <laughs> Wow, good thing you're here. Both of those will be important in a moment. I love field trips, but I knew I had to keep up with Mr. Ray or I'd forget where I was going. Oh! Migration, migration, let's learn about migration. It's nature's inspiration to move around the sea. I had to stop for a moment when I heard the beat of this hypnotic rubber ducky. Stingray migration was incredible until he got hit by a speeding cactus. <sighs> Are you sure it wasn't a stingray that hit you? Nope. But whatever happened, it actually turned out to be a good thing. What? In what way was that possibly a good thing? Because it helped me remember my family! took Marlin, Nemo, and me on a really fast current. Whee! All the way there. Hmm, one sec. Maybe you know this. What's that thing? It's bright and shiny, and you always wish there was about a hundred of them. That's the one. And while we're at it, there's a dilly bob, and it makes this noise that, whoa, it's always way louder than you'd expect. Great, those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. I remembered this place from when I was a kid. Someone here had to know my parents. I figured if I could find six crabs, at least one of them would know where my family was. That's one. 
I sure ran into that. Yep, I sure ran into that. I gotcha! Shh. Hee <laughs> hee! 